Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Isaiah, chapter 31. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and are horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his own prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. Then shall the Assyrian fall with a sword, not of a mighty man, and a sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him. But he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited. And he shall pass over to a stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the incense, saith the Lord, whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace in Jerusalem. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. You know, really, Egypt, the, the children of Israel, whenever they left Egypt, Egypt is a picture, if you will, of, of, uh, of the world. It's a picture of, of your old life. They left Egypt and they headed for the promised land. But on their journey, they hadn't made it to the promised land yet. Just as you, as a Christian person, you have been uh, redeemed by God. God has had mercy on you. Uh, and you haven't reached eternal life yet. But if in your journey, and this life is a journey, friend, if in this life you look back to where you came from, you look back to what used to be, you turn back and you fail to continue on your journey, then this scripture's for you. That's the reading for today. God bless you. Have a blessed day.